Build Show. Steve Basic Architect, yes. I am out here in Arizona, better known as the High Sonoran Desert. Yeah, where they get 11 inches of rainfall a year. And I'm standing on top of an 1800 gallon water storage tank that's buried behind this house. Now you're probably wondering, why is Steve out in the desert shooting a video for a metal roofing alliance and he's standing over a water tank? Well, we're gonna jump around the front. We're gonna catch up with a good friend and I'm gonna stitch this whole video together for you. So I'll see you out front. All right, so I said special guest, here we are. Matt. Yes, Steve. What's up, buddy? Dude, I love talking metal roofs, Steve. This is a beautiful project. Yeah, this is awesome. Good design. Now, Steve, my guess, though, is on a hot day like this, where we got, we got a perfect example of my hat, you've oriented these roofs probably in a specific direction for that song, didn't you? Yeah, they're oriented. So we're looking at the north face of the house here. We're in the desert, climate two, and so it gets really hot here. So we don't want these windows facing south. So not only are the main house windows facing the north, but we also added this covered patio. I love it. And we sheathed that in the same metal roof. Now, I'm gonna throw a term at you. Positive water management. Positive water management? Yeah. I've not heard that. Usually we're trying to get rid of water. Mm -hmm. In this project, because we're only 11 inches of annual rainfall, I'm trying to capture as much water as possible. Ah, so that's why maybe this carport is actually carved back towards that roof. It slopes pitch. towards the roof. So that singular gutter there captures the low roof and the carport roof. Oh, you know, it's funny. I didn't even see that box gutter. It kind of goes away, doesn't it? Because yeah. it's extra big. But so. the, you know, the beauty of metal, Steve, nice and smooth. Right, we've got good shed action. It's also really good for water collection yep. because you can have a first flush system that just, you know, if there's dust and garbage on the roof, the first couple gallons get dumped automatically, but then all the rest of that water gets captured really, really well, doesn't it? Really well, and it's a highly durable system. Out here, these are all vented roof systems, so we're not too worried about the temperature, and it's a light color, which, again, with metal roofs, it's really nice because you have the whole gamut of uh, color spectrum to choose from with the roofs, which I think is really important depending on where you are and your aesthetic. The other thing I wanna to mention too, is my understanding is there's some antimicrobial properties to that coating, as well as galvanized, so we don't need to worry about rust. This is gonna be a generational roof on this house that literally could last decades and decades without being changed. You know, you get out here on a day like today where it's almost 110 or maybe over today, it just doesn't make sense to use an, an, a roof based on oil products, does it? No, it doesn't. And a lot of our projects are just that. They're generational where homeowners say, Steve, I'm building my dream house. This is the last house I wanna build. Let's do a metal roof. You'll never have to worry about it in our lifetime. Yeah. We're never gonna see this roof get replaced or any kind of maintenance. It's installed, it's gonna carry, carry on. Very well. Now, Steve, that first tank that you mentioned in the intro, that's 1,800 gallons buried. Yep. Did I see two other smaller tanks as well? We do have a couple that are behind the garage because the homeowner, we are concentrating on the three roofs of the main house, but then he's like, you know, this is such a great idea. I'm gonna buy a couple more tanks and we're gonna do the guest house in the garage. So all four structures, there's basically five planes of the roof. They all capture roof rain runoff. That's really smart. So this main roof is going to capture actual drinking water, you know, what they're going to yep. bathe and shower with. Basically the whole house gets used for that. There is a backup for city water, but then my understanding is the garage roof, those smaller tanks, just irrigation. That's going to be used for irrigation around here. We have, you know, some plants and cactuses and such that they have to deal with. But, you know, one of the telling uh, quotes, we had a conversation earlier, thousand square feet of roof with one inch of rain, over 600 gallons of water. Is that right? Yeah. Dang. So you figure 11 inches of rainfall a year, we can fill that tank almost four times. That's incredible. Yeah. So. And it happens a lot out here where they get a full inch or maybe even more sometimes at a time. Yep. They don't get these like quarter inch rainfalls a day like they get in Seattle. They get a big no. dump. So they get a big dump, they're gonna fill the whole tank 
drain it down again, get another big dump. Yep. That's pretty cool. Plus, if they get into a drought season, they can take the uh, city water out and use that as well, which is nice. Yeah. And, you know, beyond the, the, the all of the kind of durability and building science metrics of a metal roof, they always look beautiful. Yeah, they really do. You I love know, the look they, of the They perform, thing. like we said, exceptionally well, many different colors. Um, a lot of clients like it because a lot of clients don't want to have to mess around with asphalt roofs, algae growing on those roofs. Yep. You know, a lot of clients, I have a shingled roof on my house and yeah, there's stuff that grows on it. You just don't get that with a, a metal roof. And you mentioned earlier, having a metal roof in this climate where it's so hot, you've got an SRI, a solar reflective index. Yep. Even if it's a dark color roof, I see SRIs in the 30s and 40s, yep. even on dark colors, let alone a lighter color, which might be approaching 80, 90 or above. Compare that to, let's say, a typical asphalt shingle, which is much, much lower. Yep. These are really shedding that sun uh, that sun's energy, that sun's heat to the outside. Yeah. An old analogy that I loved was, you know, if you're gonna microwave your burrito, uh, you put it on a plate and it gets really hot. But if you wrap that burrito in aluminum foil, you're basically taking that radiation heat away from microwaving your burrito. And there's some similar properties to this metal roof yeah. going on here. Yeah, and then the, the last thing that I like about metal roofs are, in a lot of climates, we choose to go to zero energy. Mm -hmm. We build a really good house, bring that load way down. Yep. Well, a metal roof is kind of a no-brainer to put solar panels and just basically literally screw some set screws and you could put a whole Unistrut system across here and next thing you know, we have PV now. Yeah, the clamp system on those, uh, those standing seams means we're not drilling, we're not having to anchor through into roof below yeah. to, to anchor those solars. Everything's anchored in there. It's a fabulous system, I'm really impressed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's uh, well over half of our projects are metal roofs for all the reasons discussed. For sure. Guys, if you want to learn more about metal roofs in general, the Metal Roof Alliance sponsored this video. They've been friends of the Build Show a long time. If you look back in our archives, we have videos from 15 years ago talking about metal. I put metal on more houses than any other type of roof, including my own personal build as a metal roof. So, Steve, thanks for bringing me out to the job site today. Yeah, Beautiful no, work, man. Thanks for, thanks for joining in, man. This is uh, really always cool to show off a project. All right. Well, there you have it. Thanks, Matt, for joining, man. Thank always you, a pleasure. Thanks for having me out. And, uh, how about I do Matt? You do it. Let's do All it. right. Steve Basic. Oh, the build show. <laughs> <laughs>